Okay, what's up guys? So in this video, I got a question a couple of videos ago about what add-ons I use and they want links to it. So what I thought I'd do is just make a video on all the add-ons that I use and talk a little bit about them, why I use them, some I don't use anymore, but I'll just talk a little bit about it. I won't make the video too long, but uh, yeah, these, this video is not sponsored by any of the add-ons. I uh, paid for all of them. Some of them are free, but yeah. Let's jump into it. So first thing is a lot of the add-ons are on this side, but what I'm going to do is show you the first one that I use is the Blender Kit add-on. Okay, I use the free version. I don't use the paid version. You can get models. You can get HDRIs. You can get materials. So this is a pretty cool add-on. It is free. Well, the free version, and you can get extra model sets on free obviously okay so i thought i'd make this one number one it is an add-on technically and it's pretty cool you can get models and you what you can do is you can search for things you can see if it's locked it means you only can use it only get these from the paid version i think the paid version is like a couple of dollars i think it's like ten dollars a month i'm not 100 sure but yeah i use the free version perfect for me I get a lot of my models from Sketchfab and I just download them and import them that way. I prefer the, that way. It works for me. I don't use a lot of models in my scenes. I prefer to use like add-ons, create things myself. Works better. Okay. Next one is if I go here to Asset Browser. Next one is Polyhaven. Okay. This one is a paid one. I'm not sure how much it costs, but you get HDRIs. You can see. This is where I've used most of my HDRs from Polyhaven. And then you can get models. The models is not that many. If I go down here, you can see I haven't even fetched 250 new assets. I should probably do that. Um, yeah. And then textures. So you can get like same textures. Quite a lot to choose from. Okay. Perfect. Great add on in my opinion. Then, then I've got the Berg add-on. I need to update it. I don't actually use it that much, to be honest, to create scenes. It's actually a great add-on. I just don't use it a lot. Okay. It allows you to create landscapes, that kind of stuff. I've got to update it and move it to a new folder to be able to use it. But I thought I'd just tell you that I do have it. And then, let's go here. So, these are most of my add-ons. Come on. Yeah. So, I've got, let's go first, Home Builder. This just allows you to build like homes. So you get like products, doors, rooms, walls, materials, decorations. It's a, and it was a free add-on. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's one. Let's go in. Okay, number two. This is not an add-on. Okay, the next one is physical atmosphere. So this just allows you to Bring in an HDRI, which is a better version of an HDRI. So if I go here, you can see. And then what it allows you to do is you can change your rotation to make it like 150. And it just changes that. Okay, so it's basically just an HDRI with stars. With It's, it's quite in-depth. And you can change quite a lot about it. But... I don't use it that much to be honest so I wouldn't really suggest it next one is blender kit so it's this one here that I showed you just you can also use it this way then I've got landscape which is ant landscape Archimesh so it allows you to do like that then you can change the length column let's just go back here and you can see this is mainly just to build like rooms really quickly. Okay. It was also a free add-on. And then RV generator just allows you to generate RV onto like a mesh, like a like a plane or whatever. Um yeah, I don't use it that much because you've got to still texture the RV. Okay. It doesn't come with textures. And that's probably why I don't use it. Then Sanctus Library, paid for it myself. This is a lot of materials, so buildings, you get a lot of materials. You can see here, uh, fabrics. It's high quality. 
it's just pretty heavy on your computer so just remember that if you download it and pay for it it's it's great it's just if your computer is not that specced out it's going to struggle to um, work but you can see it's got metals it's 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 really it's a good add-on it's even got like a tune add-on i mean a tune material tune materials so water wood okay i don't think i've updated in a while to be honest but yeah it's a great add-on i would recommend okay alt tab ocean great add-on free so this just allows you to basically click add on and then what you can do is if i go yeah and then just hide this boom boom you can see easy water and then you can change the material so this is and it's free trust me i use this one quite a lot and i highly actually recommend downloading because it's free and a lot of times you want to play with the ocean modifier takes time this one you can just create water change the texture a lot of times to be honest this is the easy part to create the ocean this is where it comes in handy is the textures in my opinion so highly recommended check it out free so yeah fractal generator this just allows you to basically generate fractals i don't use it that much i think it was like seven dollars wasn't that expensive but yeah i don't really use it to be honest wouldn't really recommend unless you got seven dollars to spare or however much it costs okay this one if you're making blender tutorials videos i would recommend it because if you enable it you can see if i go shift a i want to add a mesh and i'm making like a tutorial sometimes you might not understand because of my accent or the way i talk or whatever what i'm saying so what i do is this is just enable it and then if i go shift a you can see it shows you what i'm doing okay so that's what it is if you don't make blender tutorials i don't really recommend it organics just allows you to create weird looking things you can change this change the scale noise randomize change this okay and then yeah it's it basically creates weird looking objects not very very versatile in my opinion does one thing but does it pretty well if you like doing weird things check it out bag of pie this is plain and then you can see press j it allows you to change things so you can do like a wall there we go and delete shift a mesh plane hit j pops you can see there boom really easily okay so this is pretty versatile if i go back boom boom it's really easy you can change the radius okay now press j you can see these are all the things that you can do with it okay column tiles beam you can scatter things you can array it's and it's free this is the free version so check back apart and then if you want to use it so let's say you've got it selected here you just need a mesh so you can add it like a plane and then if you want to use it you just hit j and this all comes up then you can do different things you can do a grid then you can increase y offset it's it's pretty cool and it helps you a lot trust me it's worth it because it's free next one tissue okay and this basically lets you take like two different objects and then just do weird stuff make like kind of like fractals in a way but not really it's it's kind of weird i don't really use it so yeah this one is a pretty cool and it's free this just has like different objects already created so you don't have to do it yourself if you select this one add object boom and that's literally what it does you can make it bigger you can't really like make it random anymore it's like just the object but if i delete it 
add another one, boom, add, boom, add, delete this one, go, okay, and then <laughs> it's, in my opinion, pretty cool if you like doing like motion design, graphics, creating weird scenes, you can use this without having to model all these, you can see, uh, boom, and it's pretty cool. One function, but perfect, in my opinion, it looks cool. And I use it actually more than what I thought I would. Okay, next one is ChatGPT. Don't really recommend this in my opinion. It just lets you say, create a cube. See what happens? Okay, there, it's not great. And you gotta pay for it, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just go into ChatGPT on my own and create it like that. Okay, Alt tab. Easy fog. This is the free version. Just allows you to add fog. In my opinion, I've got a video on how to create volumetrics up in your principal volume shader and it works better than this does in my opinion. So I don't really recommend this one. But yeah, check it out if you want. Kit bash. This is a pretty cool one. I will come back to it. So I need to go out of Blender to show how to use it, but this is pretty cool. I actually made a video on this as well, but yeah, give me a second. Once I get to the end of the video, I'll show you how to use this, okay? Okay, next one is Cracks and Damage Maker. So, boom, mesh, add a cube, boom. Pretty self-explanatory. Does one thing, but does it pretty well, okay? And I think it was free, not really sure. Okay, real-time materials, my favorite material add-on. So, Shift A, cube. Let's go here, okay, and then boom, boom. And then what's pretty cool about it is you can adjust a lot of these. So if I go to this one, you can change scale, shape, color. Okay, so Ducky, he's a YouTuber. He created this add-on, amazing, probably my best material add-on, and it's not, like it doesn't, Hammer your computer, okay, so. And there's a free version, so feel free to check it out. And the last one, before I get back to Kit Bash, is Polygonic. Awesome for vegetation, so a cube, and then hit your plus, add grass with flowers. Okay, boom. Easy, you can adjust things, so you can make it more, randomize it that and then you can add a tree so if you go boom spawn assets it's got trees dead or autumn kind of trees flowers all different types pots saplings so like other kind of trees shrubs so you can do this boom and it creates that. and then you can add like normal like tropical so like tropical trees and uh, yeah that's just how easy it is and it's highly detailed let's close this so you can see nicely this is a snow tree obviously it doesn't make sense but yeah if i zoom in you can see how awesome and detailed it is okay let's delete this before my computer so it's freezing. All right. So, kit bash. How do we use it? What you do? Go Control Q. Actually, no. I'm gonna do is minimize. Then go yeah. So you will go to the website kit bash, and then you download this. Like I said, I got a video on it. But uh, yeah, all you do is download it, follow the steps, and then you got a free version and a paid version. You just click here. Okay, and then it's got kits. What I use is I'm on the free version. So click on models, and then you just go here, to access, click free, and then you can even go download it, because I've downloaded a few. And then how to use it. So let's click here, click on it, and then you just click import, and it literally imports the model into Blender. So if I toggle here, and there we go. 
and this is free not all of them are free obviously but this is incredible for something that's free you won't find a model like these kind of things free usually as detailed and as easy to use because you just click import boom import into blender okay and that's literally the kit bash add-on if i just toggle out of here go back here you can see if i go here these are all the free ones so all these and there's even got some free materials boom access click free and you can see and it works the same way you just import it into blender and it works perfectly like that you can see caution tape plants rock terrain ice planet terrain cool stuff water so and it's all free so highly recommend checking this out as well but yeah those are my add-ons that i use hopefully the video helped you like i said this video is not sponsored by any of them paid for all these add-ons myself some i still use some i should probably delete to save off some space on my computer but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe feel free to check out the patreon support the channel and i'll see you in the next video